Hazel again. Today, four of quarantine, and we hungry. So, does anybody else love shish kebabs? Because I know my dad does, and I do, and my kids do. But I don't like staying up for hours on and putting everything on this stupid little skewers. So, your girl Lisa started making shish kebab skillet. So, right now, I'm cutting up smoked sausage. So let me finish cutting this up real quick and I will show you what we're going to do next. So here I already got my beef tips cooking in the background but I don't want to bore you guys on having to sit there and watch watch it cook so don't move. I'll be right Okay so now that we got all of that cut I'm going to put them in this bowl because I have to cut up a whole bunch of other stuff. So, my hands are clean. Trust me. I think everybody in the world has got the cleanest hands right now if you're obeying the CDC. <laughs> but, so I'm just going to stick them in here and set them off to the side. This is super easy, guys. But always remember to wash your thing. You don't want to cross the pan Now, wash your thingy. Make sure you get all the junk from whatever it was that you cut up earlier on. So now, and then we got canned sliced potatoes. Well, whatever really you like on your shish kebabs. So right now I'm gonna cut up a, a bell pepper, which weren't too hard to find in the store, right babe? Right. So, oh, Kenny's behind the camera. Say hi, Kenny. Hi. <laughs> so, here's my bell pepper. Looks pretty good, it's kind of, but wash your fruit and vegetables guys especially right now because you know everybody's picking it up going oh is it firm enough and now you got corona so make sure you wash it even with not coronavirus or whatever you got to remember because they spray this stuff with pesticides and well some farms do but. and then just cut up your bell pepper oh i did see i just cross contaminated guys mm -hmm. <laughs> Be very careful when cleaning your knives because you can cut yourself. So now I'm just going to cut this bell pepper up and I'll be right back. Remember to seed your bell pepper. You don't really want any seed. But you can also keep your seeds and use them and plant them and grow your own plants because we do that a lot with being a homeschool family. So yeah, each bell pepper has tons of seeds guys. Each one of these little seeds could grow a plant. It's not focusing. So just remember you can save them or not. I prefer to save them because we're a homeschool family and we're always trying to teach the kids something new about agricultural stuff and whatnot. Hold on, gotta spare my beef tips. <laughs> now back to it's really up to you how you want to cut them. I mean, I'm not a chef, so don't be in the comments saying, you're not holding the bell pepper right or whatever, you're going to cut your finger off. I'm not a chef. I'm just cooking, and I have no other content for you guys, and yes, my dog is in the kitchen. <laughs> but I just cut them up like this because they're going to go into the skillet with everything else. So it doesn't really matter how big they are. If you cook, cut them too small though, they will cook and they will get really small and you won't have any bell pepper. Or you will have it, it's just you won't be able to taste it. So I try to keep it kind of chunky like this. And beef tips are sound and angry. All right guys, so you don't have to put bell pepper in it. Like I said, whatever you put on your shish kebabs, you could probably just put in the skillet. So, I'm not that far away from the stove, guys. It's like two foot over there. So, not like it's going to burn the house down or anything. But, definitely. Next, guys, I have to cut up an onion. And I hate cutting up onions because... Who doesn't cry when they cut up onions? But I'm going to teach you a trick that my grandmother taught me. A little Mex um, a little, um, little old Mexican woman trick. 
if you guys don't know, my mother is Mexican Indian. And yes, I know it's true because we got ancestry DNA. And my father is American, Irish, Welsh, all that good stuff. And he's a white boy. So, now our bell pepper's done. And I'm going to set all this over here to the side. See, uh, you don't really have to worry about bell pepper and onion cross-contaminating because it's not meat or poultry. So... So, here's how you keep from crying when you're going to cut an onion. Take your onion and you smell it before you cut it. That way, you can already know what it's going to smell like when the peel is on it. When you take the peel off is when it starts to give you all that teary-eyed sensation. So, each layer that you take off of it, you sniff. Good, um, just a little tip. Now be careful, don't cut your fingers off. Now tell me, while cooking, has any of you almost cut your hand off? <laughs> See, now it just smells sweet and it's not burning my eyes. So our beef, tip, our beef tips are done. Now we just gotta finish cutting up all this stuff and then we will go over towards the stove and I will show you guys what's next. Just cutting up some big chunks of onion. Like I said, keep it simple. It's just a shish kebab skillet. It's pretty much just slop in a, in a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> but don't put too much onion in it though because it might overpower it. I don't really like onion very much so we'll see how it goes. But Coda likes anything to do with meat. Right Coda or Noah? Hey. Hi, buddy. I want to talk a little, please. Okay. One second, mommy. Filming a cooking thing. Okay, I'll get that cup. Also, guys, check out these cool cups. This one's Noah's, and it's got dinosaurs on it. I have one that looks like a geo rock, and Kenny and Koto both got one. If you guys are interested in getting a homemade tumbler made, head on over to SNA Pearls oh. Creations. SNA Pearls Creations on Facebook and hit up Aaron and Sarah. They're a small business. They are self-owned. They also have a pearl show and they're really nice people. Times are hard right now and without having people, they get their oysters, for cultured oysters from overseas and right now imports aren't coming in so it's a little scary for them. So any help that I can throw their way, I will. I will. They're really good people. Okay, so all cut up that's done we need mushrooms next you don't have to put mushrooms in them but I like to and you can't really taste them once you put the barbecue sauce on so one second there's Kenny's cup yeah see here's one of Coda's from SNA Pearl's creation he likes to be on his Xbox so Aaron made him two. This is an alcohol ink cup, and this is just a glitter cup. And here's one of mine. They make them bigger. It's a geo cup. Hey, they are so talented. Sarah I'm in can. Trouble focusing on that one. <laughs> oh, sorry guys. Mom, the meat it's gonna burn. No, it's not. But they got from ten ounces. Yeah. Here's my other okay. one. See, she's a big bubble. <laughs> it's glitter. That's my name. So, any anything that you can bring into your imagination, Aaron and Sarah could probably do as long as it's not copyrighted. But they, it's five dollars for each decal, eight dollars shipping. They go from twenty-five dollars and up. But they're really good guys. They really, really are. So now we're gonna do mushrooms. <laughs> Make sure you wash your mushrooms because they're fungus. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Unless you get superpowers like Mario. All right, it's kind of fun, and also if you don't want to have to worry about it in the end, to have what I call a dump bowl or a garbage bowl. Just put all your extras, your garbage, and whatever in the bowl, and that way you can take it and dump it when you're done. 
But I just set everything right here for purposes because I'm lazy. So we'll be right back. So I decided to cut the mushrooms in half because they were really big. So I'm just going to cut them really quick before the meat burns again. Oh, I'm pretty girl. You can't have mushrooms. But I think that's probably enough, right? Mushrooms? Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. So now I'm going to come over here to the stove with my stuff in here. I took some out for my other son because he doesn't like anything. And I'm going to put all of our stuff in here. Careful not to get burnt like I just did because I'm dumb. And I'm going to come back over here and get our meat. Our other meat. I'm going to put that in there too. And then I'm going to put some of these in here. Probably break them up a little. I per se don't like the potatoes but Kenny does and my dad does. So. But you see, there's a big helping of food in here, guys. This will feed a lot of people. Just like shish kebabs. My hands are clean. I just washed them. Okay. So we're going to let... We're going to get it all stirred up here, babe. I think we should use the bigger pot. <laughs> oh, I wish I could... Get smell o vision you guys. This smells so good. So good. So, I'm going to mix it up a little. And I'm going to add some salt and pepper to it. Salt. Just a little. Okay. And pepper. Now, here's another trick that you guys might not know. You notice how pepper shakers have these ridges on the bottom? That's just potato. Ridges on the bottom of these. This is what those ridges are for. You know when you're shaking your pepper and it don't come out? Turn your pepper upside down, take your salt shaker, and rub it atop. Now look at that. All that pepper comes out because of the grounds on the bottom of this rubbing on the grounds on the bottom of this makes the salt or the pepper come out. You're welcome. How old were you when you found that out? <laughs> Today. <laughs> so. We're going to let this mix up for a little, little, little bit, not long, because then we're going to add some barbecue sauce into it. Covered the name because I don't want to get sued. <laughs> so, we're going to let this cook for about 10 minutes or so with just this stuff in it, and then we'll be back with you guys to add the barbecue sauce. You smell it, hooligan. I do. All right, now we're gonna add in our barbecue sauce. We use Sweet Baby Ray's. Shh, don't tell nobody. Not sponsored. Good stuff. Ready, guys? You don't have to do barbecue sauce if you don't want to, but what shish kebabs without barbecue sauce? And I mean, we use barbecue the sauce. The whole bottle. <laughs> That's it. Alright. Let's stir and see. Let's see. Now we're gonna stir it up. I'm gonna try to. Oh! I should have used the bigger pan. Mm -hmm. Learn from my mistakes, hooligans. Use a bigger pan. I mean, like, you can do this for a one person, too, guys. It's not that hard. So I will leave a list of the stuff that we used for this in the description of the video down below in the description so like and subscribe guys because times are hard bro like i'm sorry if this isn't what you wanted to see from my channel but we are on day four of quarantine and you're lucky i'm lucky we even got this food <laughs> it's been hell I'm telling you and i'm not even bleeping that out because it has been crazy so look at that hooligans look at all that yumminess and now, you just let it sit and simmer for however long you can wait. I would suggest like 15 minutes or so to get all them juices. All the flavors. Let it come to a boil almost. Like, well, it's going like crackle and pop and stuff. Then open it. You should probably, we should have a lid on it. A lid 
on it, but I'm just doing this for reference to show you guys. Let it simmer. And when the barber and then when the barbecue sauce starts to bubble, kind of like this down in here, but all over, stir it up real good, hooligans. And then let it sit for about five more minutes, and then you should be good to go. So that is how you make this chick Lisa shish kebab skillet. And remember to like and hit that subscribe button. And while you're hitting buttons, make sure you turn on that bell so you never miss a video. And we will see you next time. And remember, stay golden, guys. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to see how this cooking tastes. If I can get some of the fork here. So tender, it falls off the fork. Making sure I get a little everything. We also added, at the end, just a little baguette to slop up the slop. How does it taste? Good flavor. Mm. My dog. Perfect. Okay. I love it. Bye. Bye. Oh. Bye.